हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदा दीपाई हॉस्पिटल फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ केस ऑफ टोरिक आई पी सी एल विच इज़ अ फेकी कायल बाय केयर ग्रुप एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट अ वेरी यूजफुल ट्रिक इन इम्प्लांटेशन ऑफ फेकी कायल एज वेल एज फॉर दैट मैटर एनी अदर आई एल एंड द ट्रिक इज हाउ नॉट टू अलाउ द आई एल टू invert when you are implanting it so these are my usual steps for doing the fakey kyle so on the left side you can see a small side incision and on the right side a slightly bigger side incision and then i'm going to put intracameral xylocaine followed by 2% hpmc and then i take the main incision i have already done 0 180 degree marking so The Storic IPCL is a customized fakey kyle which sits at 0-180 degree, irrespective of the astigmatism of the patient's refractive error, because it is custom made for that particular patient. Now, after making the temporal 2.8 millimeter incision, you can see that the inner lip is little bit enlarged during making of the incision. and uh, this is the toric ipcl packing and this is the ipcl it has uh, s- multiple small openings which uh, avoids the pupillary block and uh, improves the flow between the ante and the posterior chamber and there is also a central hole which uh, prevents pupillary block so this is a great design of the fakey kyle it's a hydrophilic material important thing is to tuck it well inside the groove during the insertion in the cartridge and make sure that it is freely moving and do this push and then pull the plunger back again so that the trailing haptic is not caught so this is the expected orientation of the ipcl inside the eye so you can see a small knob on the leading haptic there which has to face on the left side and what you can see here when i am inserting this ipcl it has rotated a bit and it's facing on the right side so if i push this ipcl now it is going to get inverted and i don't want that so just watch my hand movements here and what i am doing here is rotating the cartridge in a clockwise manner so that uh, this knob turns towards the left side which is the right orientation and then i push the ipcl inside so watch this particular movement i am using right hand and then i am rotating this injector cartridge assembly clockwise so that the right orientation of ipcl is achieved so if i don't do this at this point it is going to go in and open in a inverted fashion and then i have to remove it and again reload and reinject so this nice trick avoids inverted fakey kyle in the anterior chamber of course same trick works for any intraocular lens for that matter so now the orientation is good the leading haptic you can see the knob on the left side and when i push the trailing haptic inside you can see on the trailing haptic the knob is on the right side so this is the perfect orientation which we wanted so i showed you how to load the ipcl in the groove in the cartridge and then also how to do the push and pull maneuver so that the trailing haptic is not uh, caught in the plunger and uh, this is the way you put this uh, haptics under the iris using a special instrument which is a flat tip manipulator for ipcl and you can do it quite easily here you can see uh, just make sure that you don't damage the anterior lens capsule here once the ipcl is in the sulcus you rotate so that uh, the you can see those toric markings so the ipcl they should align with the 0180 degree which you have marked once that is done now i am going to remove the viscoelastic by my method which uh, 
I call visco wash so I don't use a bimanual IA or coaxial IA for removing the viscoelastic the logic which I feel is that when I use this flushing of the fluid in the anterior chamber you can see the anterior chamber remains quite steady there are very less fluctuation as compared to if I use a bimanual IA or coaxial IA and these are high myopic IAs I don't want fluctuations during the surgery so this takes care of that and you can see when I flush this uh, BSS all around in the anterior chamber this 2% HPMC starts getting washed off I use this 10 cc syringe and I also use 2 cc syringe to flush uh, the BSS underneath the IPCL so whatever is caught in between the anterior lens capsule and IPCL also gets washed off the idea is to pass around uh, 30 to 40 ml of fluid just uh, keep on flushing the anterior chamber with BSS very gradually take your time and you will find that most of the methyl cellulose is out and yeah, just couple of hours after the surgery you will find that the anterior chamber is very quiet patience is the key and keep flushing out till you feel that the viscoelastic is out it takes around 8 to 10 minutes to complete the surgery with this technique but uh, the results are outstanding and probably because uh, of uh, this uh, atraumatic method of visco removal where I maintain the anterior chamber throughout it might also reduce the chances of PVD that is vitreous detachment post operatively and that might be safer for the retina also lesser fluctuations mean that even the lens will not be damaged so it's good that it might prevent progression of the cataract so this is the end of the surgery you can see it's nicely oriented well aligned with the marks and patient is going to get great vision after the surgery so you learnt few tricks here for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel also we have a facebook page by fecotraining.org.in and do visit our website fecotraining.org.in thank you so much